Hi, I'm Tatiana and welcome to the practice. So please come stand in Tadasana, hands to Anjali Mudra. Feel the connection with the ground, release the arms down, inhale, raise the arms up, exhale, roll the arms down. Inhale, arms reach up, exhale, roll the arms down, repeat. And a side bend to the right, left arm up, right arm down. Breathing here. Inhaling right arm up. Exhale left arm down, side bend to the left. Feel the stretch in between the ribs on the right side. Chin is neutral. And then on the inhalation, both arms reach up and exhale, arms down. Shoulder rolls. And couple in uh, each direction. And then roll your head. Just any kind of um, head neck rolls that feel good right now. Just free movement, maybe rolling the arms. Just move your upper body. A few arm rolls in one direction and then a few arm rolls in the other direction. And extend the arms forward, open and close the fist a couple of times. And then roll the hands up and down. Shake the hands off like you're shaking water off your hands. And release. Let your arms hang on your sides and then twist side to side, letting your arms swing around you like empty sleeves. And then uh, one at a time, come on the ball of the foot, just changing the feet. Just a little bit, just gently warming up the ankles, the feet, the legs. And then take your feet wide apart, turn the toes out. And lower down into the goddess pose. So bring the arms up over the head and then to chest and then extend the arms out to the sides, flexing the wrists. Point the tailbone down. Keep pushing the knees out, back straight. And come up, reach the arms up, exhale, roll the arms down. Okay, staying in the uh, wide stance. Now bring the arms up, palms facing forward. 45 degree angle for the arms. A star pose. Inhale, come up on the toes, lift the arms, and then exhale, lower everything down. Inhale, come up on the toes, raise the arms, exhale, lower the arms, lower the heels. Again, inhale, come up, expand, exhale, lower. Hands to the hips. Now turn the toes uh, toward each other. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Fold forward. Mm -hmm. Bring the hands down in the middle. And relax the head and neck. So you're looking back between your legs. Inhale, come up, straight back. Side uh, twist to the right on the inhalation, lifting the right arm, and then the other side, exhale, come down, and then inhale, twist the chest to the right, lift the right arm up, exhale, lower, 
and how the other side left arm up. <coughs> Again, right side. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left side. Exhale, lower. And then fold again in between the feet, relaxing the upper body. Neck, head. Maybe you can bring yourself down a little bit lower or not. Okay, now bend your right knee. Sit down to your side lunge with the right knee bent. Left leg straight. And then to the other side. Walk your hands right, left, changing sides, side lunges here. Check in with your breathing. Mm -hmm. Side to side. And then come up into a wide-legged stance and fold in between the feet once again on the inhalation. Come up, bending the knees, and step the feet together, shake off the legs. All right, the abdominal squeeze, Akunchana Prasarana. So bend the knees, support your upper body on your arms. Hands above the knees. Really put the weight of your upper body into your arms. And then inhaling, relaxing the abdominals, arching the back. Exhale, squeeze everything tight, tight. And keep going. Exhale, squeeze, round the back. Inhale, arch the back. Release the abdominals. on the exhalation, completely release on the inhalation. distance between the feet, wherever you're comfortable, knees slightly bent, folding over the legs, releasing the upper body. Now let's come down to the mat. So take your tabletop position. <coughs> Let's do a few rounds of cat-cow here, inhaling, arching the back, exhaling, rounding the back, tucking the chin on the exhalation and the tailbone, and on the inhalation, lift the chin slightly, arch the back. So let's add a little bit, untuck the toes as you're coming into the cat stretch, rounding the back, and then tuck the toes as you're coming into the cow stretch. We'll try that, see how that feels. come to neutral spine. Just take a moment here and then step your right foot forward for our lunge series. So come upright yourself, hands on the thigh and then on the inhalation bring the arms up, drop the hips down, 
lift the chin. There's a little bit of a back bend here. Now bring the hands back down onto the thigh. And the side bend to the right, left arm comes up. Let your right arm hang, or you can support it, right hand on the block. And then a side bend to the left, right arm up, left arm hanging down. There's an element of balance here, so keep the core tight. And then come back to a lunge, bring the hands down, and then come sit on your left heel if possible. Right leg extends and fold over the right leg. Come up on the inhalation, come back to lunge, and then step that right knee back, step the left foot forward, other side. So come upright, hands on the thigh, drop the hips down, inhale, reach the arms up, a little bit of a back bend here, lift the chin, look up at your fingertips. the hands down, bring the arms up, and a side bend to the left, right arm reaches up and over the head, left arm relaxed, down, inhale, bring both arms up, and exhale to the other side, releasing the right arm, left arm over the head, side bend to the right. Inhale, come up, and exhale, release the arms down. Now bring the fingertips down on both sides of the left leg. Sit down onto your right heel, and fold the upper body over the left leg. Breathe here. and step the left knee back. Now turn. <coughs> or maybe not, just sit down on your heels into Vajrasana, the thunderbolt position. If that's not available to you, come sit cross-legged. Hands to Anjali Mudra, heart to the heart. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply, feel the energy circulating in the body. So now come uh, face the long side of your mat, so your own hands and knees, and then come up on the knees, take your uh, left leg out, line up your left foot, your right knee and right hand for this variation of a side plank left arm over the head, flaring out the left ribs. Come up, and then bend over to the other side, left hand on the left leg, right arm over the head. And then bend your left knee, so the knee and the toes, left toes, pointing to one side, one direction. Left hand down, next to the foot, you can use the block to support your left hand. Chest is open, and you can choose to reach the right arm up, maybe looking at the fingertips of the right hand. Come up on the inhalation, and come back to all fours. Sit down on your heels briefly. If there's any tension in your neck and shoulders, you can move your head up and down a couple of times, maybe side to side, whatever ne is needed. And then going to the other side. So take your right leg out, lining up the right toes, left knee, and left hand, reaching the right arm up 
to the sky. Maybe looking at the fingertips of the right hand. Maybe bringing the right arm alongside the ear. Flaring out the right ribs. Come up. And bend to the other side. Right hand on the right leg. Left arm over the ear. Come back up. Extend the arms to the sides. And then bend the right knee. Place the right hand next to the right foot on the block or on the mat. And reach the left arm up. Opening the chest, pushing that left shoulder back. Chin is neutral. Come up on the inhalation. Release the arms, bring the knee down. Come to all fours. And then to downward facing dog. Feet hip distance apart. Arms strong and straight. Hands shoulder distance apart, spreading the fingers wide. Abdominals engaged. Feel free to bend the knees as needed, if, especially if you find your back rounding. Bend the knees. Then bring your knees down, spread the knees apart to the sides of the mat, big toes together. And lower down into your child's pose. Arms extend over the head, buttocks down to the heels, as close to the heels as possible. Then come up on the inhalation and come sit comfortably, cross-legged. All right. <coughs> So stack your uh, right knee over the left, the feet are lying down on the sides. Or you can extend your uh, left leg out. And just lay your right knee across the left leg, right foot on the side. Then extend um, your right arm up, left arm behind the back with the palm out. And see if you can maybe find your fingers, clasp your fingers, or you can hold on to your shirt or a strap. Don't push the arm into the head. Hmm? Our cow face pose, Gamukhasana. Release the arms, stretch them out, maybe roll the arms up and down, roll the shoulders. And then um, bring that right knee into the chest, hold on to your right foot, or use your strap, and extend the right leg up, bringing the right leg and the chest closer together. And bend the right knee, release the foot. And let's go to the other side. So this time the right leg will be underneath. So both knees bent and knees stacked, pointing to the front. Or the lower leg is extended in front of you. Then make both arms long. Bend the elbows and see if you can find your fingers. Uh, in the back, probably different on this side, very likely. Or you can hold on to the shirt again or use the strap to connect your hands. Keeping the neck free. Breathe here. the hands, stretch out the arms to the sides, open and close your fists, roll the arms a little bit, roll the hands, and release the legs. 
Now keep the left knee into the chest, grab hold of your left foot and extend the leg, keeping the left leg and the chest closer together, maybe using your strap to make your arms longer. And bend the left knee, release the foot, and let's uh, support yourself with your hands in the back, and windshield wiper the knees a few times. Now come sit in Dandasana, legs extended in front of you, inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, hinging at the hips, tilting the pelvis forward, Keep the length in the spine, hold over the legs. It's not important whether you can touch your toes or not. If it's too much stretch for the backs of the legs, you can bend the knees. Or if it's uh, too taxing on your lower back, you can also bend the knees. Come up. Now bend the right knee, step the right foot across the left leg. On the inhalation, elongate the spine. On the exhalation, twist to your right. Now turn just the head, looking over the left shoulder. And then bring the chest forward. Extend both legs. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold over the legs again. Inhale, come up. To the other side, bend the left knee, step the left foot across the extended right leg, uh, inhale, long spine, exhale, twist to the left, looking over your left shoulder, if your neck is okay with that. Slowly turn the head to, to the right shoulder and then bring the chest back to center. Extend both legs, inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, fold over the legs once again. Relax the head, hang the head. Come up. Now um, extend your right leg in front of you. The left knee is bent. Left foot into the right thigh. Now pivot so your chest is facing the right leg. Inhale, elongate. Exhale. Let your body drop over that right leg. up about halfway mm -hmm. so your right arm uh, on the inside of the right leg so side bending over that right leg you can use your left arm to further stretch your left side or you can keep your left hand on the on the side or on the lower back the chest is open inhale come up Extend both legs and then change side. Bend your right knee, right foot into the left thigh. Now pivot so the center of the chest is facing the left leg. 
and then on the exhalation release the body over the left leg you do not have to reach your toes here just you can just drop your hands wherever they hold try to relax over that left leg again if you need to bend the knee bend the knee come up a little bit revolved head to knee pose so left arm on the inside of the left leg twisting the chest open to the sky leaning sideways over that left leg and you can bring your right arm over the head or you can keep it down on your side or on the lower back So seated, bring your knees to your right, feet to your left, gentle twist to the left first, and then bring both hands to your right side, hands to the mat, and then walk your hands to your back, as far back as you can, and then drop the chest down to the ground. This is our juicy twist. Breathe into the stretch. Then push into your hands, lift up, walk the hands back. And then come to the front. You can windshield wiper the knees between the sides. And then bring your knees to the left, feet to the right. Now a gentle twist to your right. And then twist to the left, bring both hands to your left side, hands to the mat, and walk your hands to the back as far as you can. And then bending the elbows bring the chest down towards the ground just to where you can you start feeling a really good nice juicy stretch in this twist breathe here and to come out push into the hands lift up then walk the hands back to the front and turn all the way to the front, maybe a windshield wipe with the knees or any kind of um, free movement here to release. <coughs> Next is the frog pose, so come onto your hands and knees. And I like to roll the sides of the mat to support my knees here. So just to uh, the distance that you need, so the feet um, Take the knees apart, uh -huh. keep the lower legs parallel and turn the toes out. Now extend, the, um, walk the hands away from you and then see if you can drop the pelvis down. So you can regulate the stretch in the hips here. The lower the pelvis is to the ground, the more stretch it is. This is quite a stretch to the hip, so be careful here. Do what your body is okay with. Push into the hands, walk the hands towards the body, and then release the legs. Come 
Bottom sit in Vajrasana, sit it on the heels if you can, or cross-legged. Hands to Anjali Mudra, close your eyes. Breathe deeply. And now let's come down, lie down on the back with the knees bent and place your feet for bridge. So bring your ankles underneath the knees feet and knees about hip distance apart, arms extend down on the sides of the body with the palms down, now roll the shoulders and the knees you one at a time, and then on the inhalation bring the pelvis up, keep a little bit of a distance between your chin and your chest, you can keep the arms down. You can clasp the hands underneath your back. You can also bend the elbows, pointing the fingers up like robot arms, or extend the arms all the way up. That intensifies the pose. And then release the arms wherever they are and slowly lower the pelvis down. Just take a couple of resting breaths right here. Now bring the knees into the chest and um, come up into an inversion. So. I am coming into Viparita Karani, supporting my pelvis with my hands, and then the legs are at about 45 degree angle. You can keep the pelvis down on the ground and extend the legs up to the sky, and stay right there. And if it works for you, you can bring the feet over the head, either parallel to the ground, or maybe find the ground behind your head with your toes into the plow. To come out, you can bend the knees if you're coming out um, of the plow, and then using your abdominals, bring the legs back down all the way down onto the mat. Move your legs, move your knees if you need to. Thread the needle, so right ankle on top of the left knee, and hold on to your left thigh or your left shin with your hands, you can use the strap here too, pull that left knee into the chest, opening the right knee, maybe try to move here, maybe little circles with the left knee, maybe uh, just shifting uh, the hips side to side, and then drop the legs as they are to your left side. So your right foot, the bottom of the foot is on the ground, the left knee is bent. the side, so left ankle on top of the right knee, and bring that um, right leg in, holding on with both hands to your shin, right shin or right thigh, maybe shifting side to side, maybe making small circles with your right knee, all in the effort to release that left hip.
and then release the hands, open the arms out to the side and drop the legs as they are to your right side. Relax the shoulders and the arms. Close your eyes, see if you can be relaxed here, soft and everything. Breathe. And then release the pose, come onto your back, hug your knees into the chest, try not to cross your ankles here. And then reach for your feet and take your happy baby. You can also hold the backs of your thighs here. Feel free to move here, if that feels good, or just stay in your happy baby. And then bring the feet together, knees apart, one last stretch to the groin. And when you're ready, take your Shavasana, extending the legs, extending the arms down alongside the body. Or you can have your knees bent and prop the knees onto each other, so they rest onto each other. You, especially if you're having any lower back issues, you, you might want to have your knees bent. Otherwise, take your Shavasana, feet apart, legs extended, arms away from the body with the palms up. Now move your shoulders, move your shoulder blades to find a comfortable arm positioning, comfort for the back, upper back. You can gently roll your head side to side. Do whatever you need to do. Eventually finding your stillness. Find your breath once you're still. Breathing freely and deeply. your forehead, relax your face, your jaw, shoulders, arms, hands, fingers. Now relax the back of the torso, relax the front, The hips, the legs, the feet, and you can stay here as long as you wish. When you're ready to come out, give yourself a full body stretch, move around, rub the feet against each other, rub the hands, and then when you're ready, rolling over to one side, First, and then from the side, push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Nice posture in the upper body. Breathing deeply. Bring the hands together, bow your forehead to the hands.